Hey, Jonesboro. Uh, it's me again. I have another story to start your weekend with. It's called Belly Button Boy by Maloney and Zukas. I hope you enjoy. It's a really funny story. Billy loved digging. The deeper, the better. And some of that dirt got under his sweater. At the beach, Billy buried himself in the sand, and even his sister would lend him a hand. When Billy told, when people told Billy, you're covered with dirt, Billy just answered, well, dirt doesn't hurt. Soon, Billy's navel was filled like a cup with all kinds of things that boys will dig up. And under that dirt, that muck, and that grime and grout, the tiniest seed had started to sprout. In his belly button, there's some topsoil, soot, lint, peat, gunk, loam, sand, grime, muck, grout, goop, crud, gravel, seed, mud, and crumbs. It grew through the night, and then in the morning, it woke Billy up without any warning. There in his belly, a little bush stood, and Billy just gasped, This can't be good. This was something he just couldn't share. He knew that his sister would tease him and stare. And as for his friends, they'd mock him and jeer. The things they would say, he'd rather not hear. Hey, Billy, you look bushed. You belong in a nursery school. You're no Billy, you're an herb. Ever trace your family roots? So though it was warm, Billy put on long sleeves. He had to wear clothes that would hide all his leaves. He caught the school bus and kept to himself, then hid in the library behind a bookshelf. He leafed through a book on what made things grow, but the book didn't tell him what he needed to know. Like how in the world had this happened to him? To wake up when, one morning and have a new limb? He went to the boys' room and locked in a stall. He saw that his plant was now several feet tall. He raced past the gym and straight to the nurse. He had to go home before things got worse. The nurse sent him home where up in his room he looked in the mirror and cried, I'm in bloom. He knew it was time to re for him to reveal the truth he had tried so hard to conceal. His sister just screamed, It's all that I need. What can I say? My brother's a weed. His father turned white, perfectly pallid. He said to his son, You look like a salad. Although the problem clearly shocked her, his mother just said, Let's go see the doctor. Doc Dudley had seen him through fevers and flus, but Billy's new problem was medical news. Your case is a matter beyond this physician. I think a landscaper should treat your condition. Let's all go and hear what my gardener will say. He sees things like this in his field every day. The gardener was kind. Wisdom shone from his eyes. He looked Billy over and showed no surprise. The thing that you've got here, green leafy and fruited, could best be removed if it were quickly uprooted. He gave a big tug, then uttered, I've got it. And now that I've got it, I think we should pot it. He looked down at Billy and said, With your pardon, a boy's belly button should not be a garden. 
You've got a great gift, son, for growing th things green, but your navel is one place you've got to keep clean. Billy now washes himself head to toe, especially in places where dirt likes to go. He doesn't want this to happen again, though the gardener did tell him. Dirt is our friend. And that is the story of Belly Button Boy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope tonight when you take your baths, everybody makes sure their belly button is very clean so nothing grows over this summer. I uh, hope you guys have a great afternoon and a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon.